Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video. Not on WinCC uh, Unified, sorry on this. I'm still working on making it run and actually learning about it myself, but on another topic where I got a lot of um, requests in my comments on some videos. Um, it's a very basic, very simple thing, but I still wanna let you know. So the video is gonna be pretty, pretty quick, maybe five minutes, you'll see. Um, there is, in my simulation, in the previous videos, if you've watched those, Good, that's the simulation. If not, go watch the videos. What are you even doing? No, um, yeah. If we use on in our PLC, in our tier portal, if we use the, whoops, wrong block. If we use the PID compact block, this one here, PID compact, we get this from here uh, on the right side, technology blocks and PID compact block, right? If we use this one, right? We somehow can uh, change the PID parameters here with the block. There is actually the configuration, right? The configuration and there we have PID parameters. So we can change them offline here. We can also let the controller auto tune itself, made a video on this, check out on my channel. Um, but you could, right now I've got enabled, uh, the manual entry enabled. So right now I could just change the parameters here, the P, I, and D. I could just say, hey, proportional gain is 15, and now a proportional gain is just 15. Why is my sound on? I don't know. Uh, yeah, and you will see it's 15. I've got it here on my display, right? So, uh, yeah, the question that I get a lot is actually the following. How do you get it on your HMI? And also... Um, it's on the HMI here, and if I change it on the HMI, I can actually change the value, and it, actually, and it really changes in the PID compact block, right? So it's there. It's pretty strange because, hey, I don't find it anywhere. I don't, while well, there is, if I go under system blocks, program resources, we've got the PID compact block. This one is automatically added when you use the PID compact in your program. It's the function block that it needs, a system function block. Um, yeah, and there we have all these parameters up here, right? And that's, basically you can get them from here. Basically, if I want, I can just go in somewhere and dr drag and drop one and use it on my uh, HMI, right? That's one way. Just go into the block, PID compact, it is automatically generated when you use the uh, PID compact function block. That's the first way. The second way that I prefer um, is the following. So we've got our HMI here uh, that I opened in there. So we've got our HMI here. I'll just make a, 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 a box down here real quick. Um, yeah. And on this HMI, I want the PI or D factor or anything else that has to do with the PID compact block. We can also change, for example, the type, which, which, what do we want to measure? Volume, which mode do we want to have? Right now it's automatic mode, which is mode three. Um, we can change all that in the runtime. And we can change all that in the runtime. For this, you will have to go, after adding the PID compact block to your program, go to technology objects, and there we have the PID controller. Right? You can do the configuration, that's the one you just saw, right? the configuration, but what you can also do is the following. On the PID controller itself, you can right mouse click, and there is the so-called DB editor, the data block editor. So open the data block editor, boop, and you will see the data block with every single entry that this, um, well, not every single one, there's also internal ones, but with most um, variables and tags that the block uses. So if I go monitor all, you see internally there's a lot of calculations going on. We could, we could right here change all of these parameters. Right? I could, for example, change the mode here. So if I want to change the mode during runtime, what I can do is just take this mode Go to my screen, right? I could just take that mode, go to my screen here, just drag and drop that mode onto my screen. Boop. And now in runtime on the HMI, I can change the mode using that input here. I could make it pretty, but this video is not about making anything pretty. This is the mode. If I want the P, I, and D parameters, right, the proportional gain, the integral time, and the, uh, what is the other one called? Uh, the reset time and the derivative time. You can find these in retain and control parameters. And then we have the gain, the TI and TD. We also have the different weighings, not going to talk about this. This is more um, control theories. 
uh, this video is just about how do you find it, how do you use it. And we could also change the cycle time. Right now the cycle time is 0.1, which is I think 100 milliseconds. So every 100 milliseconds it gets evaluated. If I want in runtime to change the proportional gain, for example, that's all you need to do. Click on the get the proportional gain from your data block, open your screen here, just drag and drop that gain on there. And now I've got the proportional gain and I can change it in runtime. The same is if you want to change it during your program somewhere, right? Let's assume I have one network that evaluates, hey, you want a strong controller, you want a weak controller. Um, so I'll add a new network here. And I can basically, if I want, let's use a move block, whatever, whatsoever, it doesn't matter. Uh, move a three whatsoever into the data block. And now I go back to my PID controller down here, the data block view. And I can just drag and drop that on here and I can change it in runtime. Of course, that is now a wrong data type, 3.3. It's a float, so of course it needs to be separated with a dot. If it's just a three, that's an integer, it won't work. Uh -huh. I could write 3.0, hey, there we go, that works. <clears throat> but not three, three doesn't work. Now it automatically transforms. Yeah, so you can also change those in your program. Very simple, very easy. So it is really that easy to access these parameters. There they are. I showed this to you. There were a lot of comments. Hey, how do I do this? Uh, and with a lot, I mean like five, six or so, but that's already a lot on my channel. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, let's just see if that works now. I go on my HMI. I start the simulation. I cannot start the runtime for some reason. It's kind of annoying. Now I see the mode here. Right now, three is automatic mode. If I want to change, now I'm in mode two. Whatever mode two is, I personally actually don't know mode four is manual mode. I'm changing the mode. I can also change the proportional gain down, down here. It's now, that's too much, 787. That's quite a strong controller. Still works though, right? It's almost an on-off controller now. Yeah, that's where you find the parameters. That's where you can work with them. Just to simply repeat it. Um, if you use the PID uh, compact block, just right click on the technology object, right click on it and open the data block editor. And there you have all your parameters. The most important ones are the ones in retain control parameters. And there you have your gain, your reset time and your derivative time. Of course, all the others are also important, but those are the three you usually work with. Right. And now I've changed the mode here. Mode four, did it work? Yeah, mode four, I said I could that. Good. So much on this uh, quick video, as I said, sorry that I can't really get into Unified yet. I will in the future, but right now I'm, I'm just sorry. I'm slacking off. I'm sorry I'm slacking off lately. <laughs> Every once in a while you need to do it. It's summertime. Come on, everyone understand it's summertime. Yeah, if you want to support the channel, if you want to support me, uh, check out the link in the description. Toss some coin into my direction. And there we go. That's the link in the description. Uh, go fund me. That goes directly to me. Uh, thanks, Leo, Luga. Thanks, John. Thanks, everyone else. Uh, but the least you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel and well, watch the next video and the next and the next and the next and stay tuned for more content and stay safe, stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>